science is supposed to be based on data, math, and evidence. So I was really thrilled when one of my Patreon supporters tagged me in a tweet that came out that was linked to this paper. Thousands of AI authors on the future of AI. So this paper most notably shows that several predictions based on all of the AI researchers have in the space of one year from 2022 to 2023, dropped by as many as 48 years in terms of when they predict certain milestones to occur. So the two milestones that I'm most interested in are full or full automation of labor and HMLI, which is uh, or HLMI, high-level machine intelligence. So let me just go ahead and jump right to the data, and then I'll spend the rest of the time unpacking it. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, that's fine. I also know that I'm out of uniform. I apologize. My uniform's down at the uh, the ship's press. So high-level machine intelligence. High-level machine intelligence is achieved when unaided machines can accomplish every task better and more cheaply than human labors. You know me, always saying better, faster, cheaper, safer. I would add two, to, uh, not just better and more cheaply, but also faster and safer. Anyways, that's kind of implied. Ignore aspects of tasks for which a human being is intrinsically advantageous, such as being accepted as a jury member. Think feasibility, not adoption. In both 2022 and 2023, respondents gave a wide range of predictions, et cetera, et cetera. The aggregate forecast uh, of 2023 predicted a 50% chance of HLMI by 2047, down 13 years from 2060 in the 2022 survey. So in the space of one year, all of the so-called experts revised their predictions down by 13 years. That is an exponential difference. For comparison, in the six years between 2016 and 2022, the survey's expected date moved only one year earlier. So again, from, from 2016 to 2022, the prediction only revised down one year from 2061 to 2060. But then in just a single year, 2022 to 2023, it revised down 13 years. So as people have observed, the human predictions are uh, exponentially decaying now. And so this study is less about artificial intelligence and more about human, uh, the fragility of human cognitive biases. And I'll, uh, and I'll unpack what I mean by that after we get through the data because I'm, I'm going to be on my soapbox for a minute. Now, the other thing that this does is it looks at, um, let's see, where is it? The full automation of labor, full or fail or however you want to say it. Anyways. This one shifted earlier by 48 years since 2022, but the confidence interval, so this is, this is the primary graph that I want to focus on. So the red year is 2023, the aggregate forecast uh, of, of full, uh, or, or sorry, 2023 is this one, 2022 is this one. I apologize. I had that. Colors are backwards. So the shallower curve is basically slower takeoff um, with a wider confidence interval um, and then the thinner red line that is steeper, faster takeoff. Okay, so you see, but still, again, in the span of one year, uh, we went down by 48 years that we, re we revised the 50% mark. And so that was, um, let's see, in this case, it's what, I think 21, 25 or something for the 50% mark. So they're predicting that we're going to have full automation of labor in more than a century, which is laughable to me because if you have uh, high level machine intelligence let's see the 50 percent is going to be by like 2045 which is right in time for singularity which again that seems that seems kind of absurd to me so imagine that this trend continues next year so imagine a year from now and and at the end of 2024 this survey will be run again and imagine if this rate of change this rate of, of revising things down in this curve is even steeper so 2024 is right here. So this is where we're at, 2025. So then imagine you have a curve that's even steeper by just as much. And so high-level machine intelligence, it would look like it would hit about here. So that's like 2035, 2040, right between 2025 and 2050. So 12 and a half years. So 2037, let's say, if it gets revised down. But again, like, okay, this is we're, we're, in, we're in the end game now of exponential decay. And likewise, imagine that the, the, the trend line gets even steeper next year. So project about there. So then they're going to say full automation of labor is going to happen by 2075 rather than 2125 or whatever. All right. 
I opened with these graphs because when I talk about trend lines and data, one of the most durable trend lines that we've with, that we've had access to for literally a, cent, a century now, um, or at least we have data going back a century, it, this observation wasn't made until much more recently, is Moore's Law. Moore's Law says that, you know, the, the, the capability, you know, uh, computational capability go, uh, doubles every 18 months. Someone at, at Intel said that it's every three years now, but there's other things going on that might subvert that, whatever. We're right on target because if you look at some of these other ones, basically when you say, okay, 2023, which is where we're at right now, is right when you're at about the, the computational strength of one human brain. So now that we're in 2024, we're a little bit past that. And obviously these are for higher end computers are going are gonna to get across the finish line first. But when you have 7 billion parameter models, 20 billion parameter models, that are able to code better than humans, translate better than humans, and they are all, those are just language models. We don't even have small multimodal models yet that are going to just completely explode uh, everything that's going to be happening. We are going to cross these thresholds very quickly. And so when I say like, hey, AGI by the end of 2024, this is what I mean. Um, and the, this, this primary trend line is what I am, have been constantly referring back to um, as like my primary data source, the primary evidence. And so what I'll what I'll close with on my soapbox is I still have people who unironically, like I honestly can't discern sometimes between trolling and just actual stupidity. I literally have people who unironically will tell me that, oh, AGI is at least decades away. And I'm like, based on what evidence? Like seriously, based based on what what actual data, what actual evidence are they basing that prediction on? And it's none. There's no actual data, no actual evidence to suggest that things are that far away. Now, you, I might say, like, okay, yes, some of these the, these experts predict that, like, oh, it's many decades out. But what are they basing that on? And so what I've observed, and I've talked to a lot of people, what I've observed is that in most cases, these predictions that it's decades away is just an emotional gut check. And this is one of the core cognitive biases that humans have, is that we have a very strong preference for the status quo. We have a very high fear reaction to things that are going to disrupt uh, the world as we know it, and it makes us very uncomfortable. And so what you're actually measuring when you ask people for an emotional gut check of how far away is AGI, what, you, what you're really asking, what this is actually measuring is how far away they are emotionally comfortable with these changes happening. So they're, they're emotionally comfortable with high-level machine intelligence arriving with a median of around 2040 or so. They say, ah, that's far enough away that I feel comfortable with that advent. This is in no way anchored to the actual data, the actual trends of what machine intelligence has achieved over the last year. And so when you ask people, when do you think that we'll have the full automation of all labor? What you're really asking is, when, do you, when are you emotionally comfortable with this reality happening? Now, one thing is that reality doesn't give a damn about human emotions. This is coming sooner than these charts would indicate. And it's coming whether or not you are emotionally ready for it now. I know that uh, most of you in my audience are like, well, yeah, that's why we're here, Dave. Like, I subscribed for this reason because you're the one telling us this. For those that are not yet on board, for those that still pop up in the comments and message me on LinkedIn telling me that I'm a lunatic, all right, here's where I'll close. Qu quintessential story. I had someone who was uh, came to some of my meetups and stuff um, and was was all on board with AI, and he started messaging me one day and like commenting on YouTube, commenting on LinkedIn, messaging me, just like telling me that I was like, he's like, you are delusional. The, none of this is possible. And then a few weeks later, I kid you not, he was in another Discord server posting about how he had used GPT to like make a completely sentient self-programming, this, that, and the other. I'm like, oh, that's when I figured it out. The dude was friggin' terrified of what he was able to do with AI, and so what he did was he lashed out, and this is the most extreme reaction. He lashed out emotionally because he was scared of what he saw. 
He was scared of, of what he saw that he built a machine that was able to follow instructions and go find pieces of code and find stuff from the internet. And to be fair, like what he built was impressive. But the fact that he had like lashed out at me so viciously for being the messenger to say like, hey, this is coming sooner than you might be ready for. And and then he changed his mind. He's like, oh, look at what I've done. And he wanted, but he was so scared of it. He wanted to like show people in secret and whatever. And that's also not not an uncommon reaction where people think that they have like breathed life into GPT-3 or GPT-4 through some prompt engineering. Um, so anyways, that's my soapbox. That's my spiel. I wanted to keep it nice and short. Um, the paper is out here. It is, um, it's from reputable sources. It's from um, uh, Berkeley, University of Bonn in Germany, more Berkeley, Berkeley, University of Oxford, right? This is a pretty reputable you know, preprint. So anyways, thanks for watching. Cheers. I hope you liked it. Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera.